Cowboys at the Rams. Dallas going to L.A. Rams are a seven-point favorite. It's Saturday, January 12th, 7.15 p.m. on Fox. Over-under is 49 and a half. Um, Dallas impressed me last week. Their defense is is pretty good. Uh, I think that the Rams have to have their running game going well to open up their passing game. Uh, Goff has not looked great without his 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 safety net okay. without Cooper Cup. Uh I don't know that the Cowboys are going to win the game. I like them to cover the 7 though. Uh that defense just looks lights out to me. I don't like I don't expect Dak to play great away from home, but I don't think he has to. I think this defense can keep this game close. Uh I think it's, you know, this could be a field goal game. It could end up being a uh 27-24 game. It could end up being a, you know, 30 to 24 game, you know, something like that, like it where it's pretty close. Um so I'm I'm rolling with the Cowboys plus the seven. I, I think the Cowboys, like with Amari Cooper, with Dak playing like he is, uh, with that defense to lean on. That is that's where it's at. And I, I again I don't know that they win, but I will take the Cowboys plus seven all day, every day. And I, I think their chances of winning the game are actually pretty good. So right. remember, Sean McVay has not won a playoff game yet. Well, true. You know, and Jared Goff in big time situations, um, at last year especially. I mean, my goodness, that offense disappeared against the Falcons. Correct. We're going to go against each other again on this one. Um, I've made pretty good living betting off against the Cowboys. I'm going to roll them again. He, here's, but the, the, and this is my logic for it. And this is my pretty good living it. this year? Yeah, I've done well. Okay. I've done well. I haven't bet against them every week. No, you're right about When that. I do bet, I bet against them. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think you've bet on Dallas for a single game this year. No, no, no. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't do something like that. Um, I think, A, I'm going to continue to go with the better coach. Okay. Also, I think I think Wade Phillips is going to have some 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 feelings about stopping this Cowboys offense. I I was kind of annoyed that Seattle couldn't seem to stop Zeke. Just just play them man to man and put everybody in the box and stop Zeke. The, the Cowboys aren't beating you deep. Okay, they're not coming over the top of anybody. All right, Dak's making some really good throws. Cooper's getting open. The other receivers are doing well. Like everybody's playing fine, but Zeke opens all of that up. If you shut Zeke down, you shut all the rest of that down. Yeah. So, but I wonder how much is the same for the Rams if they can't get Gurley going. But I, don't, I think the Rams will get Gurley going. He's had an extra week of rest. Um, Sean McVay's had two weeks to design an offense, no matter who he plays. To that guy, I think is the smartest guy in football. Now you know that. Now sometimes I overplay my hand and what I think about coaches. I think the coaching discrepancy between Sean McVay and Jason Garrett is immeasurable. I don't know that there's something quantitative you can use to measure those two things. And other than that, I don't know that there's a big difference between Dak and, and Jared Goff. I don't know that. All right, all the Dak lovers are going to say I'm crazy and he's way better than him. Like I don't know that he's way better than him. There's some that will probably say they don't know that he's better than him. I don't know that Zeke is better than Gurley. And if Gurley's healthy, then I think we're fine there. So I, I'm going to take, I'm going to roll my chances with with the smartest guy in football, okay. and with two weeks to prepare for, uh, you know, a team coming in to to play him. I I would think I I'm, I'm probably going to go under the 49 and a half. I would go under if I had to pick it. Um, obviously we don't bet the over unders. Uh, if I bet it, week. I'm going to tell you I'm betting it. I'm yeah. not betting that. One. Not, I'm not betting, betting the Rams. This. I'm betting on Sean McVay. Um, and I, I mean, it's it's tough to go against you because I mean, you you went four zero last week. So, yeah, but I mean, that could be I'm zero and four this week. That's it's entirely possible. It's entirely. I I doubt it, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see. So far, you are uh, you you've picked chalk so far, I know. and you hate chalk. I know. I but, hate. I hate it. But we'll we'll see what happens with that. 